JS8 call on 80 meters, trying a low power contact across over 2000 kilometers. I'm in contact with VK6LMK. I started off with 5 watts, then went down to half a watt. The signal was still received without any problems. Then I fished out the attenuator and put that in line. I wasn't able to be detected with 60 milliwatts, so now I'm trying 125 milliwatts. It's obviously not consistent, but some of it was getting through, so I'll try again. Just like weak CW, I've made the message short and repeated it. Though I should be really aware of the length of the frame and optimised the length of my messages to suit it. And the moment of truth. We'll now try 60 milliwatts. I've got minus 6 dB, so we'll go to minus 9 dB. 6 dB on half a watt was 125 milliwatts. 3 dB down gives us 62.5. And we've got through, at least a bit of it, on 62 milliwatts. Okay, we'll now go down to minus 12 dB, which will bring us down to 31 milliwatts. Although, if we had an idea of fading, and signals going up and down, then there may well be a peak where it would. Alright, he's tightened the filters. I'll try again at 31 milliwatts. We're minus 12 down on 500 milliwatts, so we'll now try minus 15 down, so that will be 16 milliwatts. 16 milliwatts is just too low. There's no doubt that JS8 call is an extremely effective mode with QRP. More than 2000 kilometers covered on 80 meters with milliwatts. It wasn't necessarily reliable, but 500 milliwatts was. If you haven't already done so, jump over to the JS8 call website, download the program and set it up so you too can enjoy some QRP success.